With a loud ovation, our next fighter coming to the cage is Brandon Odom, who has a, a pretty vast amount of experience inside the cage with a record of 10 wins and 11 losses. He comes into this evening on a two-fight winning streak, and he has won five of his last seven bouts. He will be taking on Hunter Vargas tonight. And Odom, I believe, is a guy who typically fights at 145, stepping up to 155 for this fight. His 22nd amateur bout, most of them taking place in Ohio, and has kind of a mix of a little bit of everything. Wins via submission, wins via strikes, wins via decision. So a well-rounded fighter here, Brandon Odom, the most experienced amateur on this card with 21 fights so far. Nick Hahn introduces his opponent, Hunter, Hunter Vargas. And I do want to notate here, uh, David, these two have actually met before inside the cage. Back in September of 2013, so roughly about two years ago, uh, they competed at uh, Full Born Extreme Championship, and they went to decision where uh, Brandon came out victorious in that bout, winning by unanimous decision. They will rematch tonight here at IT Fight Series 34. And uh, Hunter is holding a record of four wins, six losses. Uh, he has won one fight in his last four outings. Yeah, I remember early on in his career, he started out with a really good record. Uh, I believe he was like four and three and two, uh, but has won just one out of his last five. I think he may have even fought as low as 135 before. Of course, this fight taking place at 155 pounds here at IT Fight Series 34. And uh, one thing to kind of note to hear about uh, Odom uh, with 21 amateur fights, he's only 23 years of age. Still very young, and uh, he's, he's getting the experience as any fighter should. And we're set to Nikon here for the official announcement. Jerry Poe, your referee here. Brandon Odom in the camo, Hunter Vargas in the black, trimmed in white and gray. 155 pound, lightweight bout. Both guys looking to throw the jab here early in this fight. Oh, Vargas lands a nice jab there. Odom goes in for the takedown. Yeah, Vargas is able to stuff it at first. Odom's keeping the pressure on, looking to secure it, you know, keeping at it, and is able to get it. Yeah, if Odom wants to make those takedowns a lot easier, he needs to set them up better, but actually already has Vargas's back with both hooks and looking for that rear naked choke here. And it kind of looks like from our angle that the arm is underneath the chin. He it may is kind of hard to here. see. Um, Odom is doing everything correct here from our angle as far as getting the rear naked choke locked in. Vargas looking to try to punch his way out. Odom still has that rear naked choke. Vargas looks like he's reaching for the hand of Odom. He does. Gets out of the rear naked choke. But Odom is able to grab him right back and put him back into the choke itself. 
Vargas unable to turn in to Brandon Odom here. So Vargas from this position needs to uh, turn into him. Uh, he needs to go at this point. I can't see the right leg hook of Odom, but he needs to turn to the right, which he looks like he's trying to do to get out and get into the guard position of looks Odom. Looks like he may be, I thought he was going to be out there for a second. Doing a good job of defending this rear naked choke attempt here from Brandon Odom as referee Jerry Poe gives a close look. Vargas or Odom now on Vargas's back looking to flatten him out. Throwing some punches. Odom does flatten him out. Vargas is uh, trying everything to get out from underneath. Vargas and now ends up on top and Brandon does. Odom's guard. Brandon or Hunter Vargas is corner telling him to get busy and win this round, which is going to probably take a lot here. Vargas looking to make some space with that. Odom looks like he's setting up for an arm bar. Vargas pulls out to avoid it. Good job there. Hunter Vargas pulling his arm out. That arm bar attempt. Foster's up, throws some big shots here. As they're right in front of our broadcast booth and Hunter Vargas is teeing off now yes, on he Brandon is. Odom. And I want to notate that Vargas' hair is still in perfect position. He must use a very good high quality gel. Interesting to note as well and at the end of that round that Vargas was able to do a lot of damage from inside Brandon Odom's guard. Not necessary for him to pass there in order to, to land some strikes. Absolutely, and the last 30 seconds where Vargas was the dominant fighter, that might have won it. He might have been able to steal that round from Brandon Odom. Yeah, considering the fact that he did a great job of defending that rear naked choke and then really came back and was pretty dominant for those final 30 or so seconds, I think he might have been able to steal that round as well. Now, one thing uh, I, I do want to notate here, and it, it, I guess it really depends on who you are as a fighter, but as we see, we have Brandon Vargas here uh, sitting down with his coach giving him instruction, whereas his opponent, Brandon Odom, is standing getting instruction from his uh, coach. One thing you hear from fighters is it's easier to recover while standing because it's easier to breathe, and you don't exert yourself once the next round begins having to get back to your feet. Right, and Vargas may be sitting here because he might be, he's probably pretty tired having spent most of that first round trying to defend that rear naked choke. Seconds exit the cage and we're getting ready to begin round number two. Good back and forth first round here between these two experienced lightweight fighters here at IT Fight Series 34. Jerry Poe, make sure the cage door is locked and we're ready to go here for round two. Both guys with pretty good head movement, throwing some jabs here. Little left hook there from Brandon Adam lands. Vargas comes in for the body shot with the, the leg. And he's Connects. got it. That's one you really want to set up a little bit better than what he just did there. And Odom looked, looking to be a little bit fatigued here. Ooh, Vargas he lands a nice jab. Yeah, he ate that jab. And Odom gets the takedown a little bit late there on the on the counter takedown. Gets it nonetheless, ends up on top now, looking to work inside of Hunter Vargas' guard here. Odom landed a left hand there. Odom's kind of uh, mixing things up, going to the body and then to the head of Vargas. Vargas pushing off the cage here. Maybe looking to turn here for an arm bar, it looks like almost. Or Kimura. Hunter not just sitting there taking the beating from Odom. He's actively working for uh, a submission here. Very active off of his back. You see his hips are up off of the mat, looking to try to swing around for either an arm bar or that Kimura. He may try to lock in a triangle if he can get some space here. Odom doing a good job, though, here of really stacking. Hunter Vargas against the cage as they're right in, in front of our broadcast position. Odom not throwing a lot of strikes in there. Odom was able to get the full mount there position for a second, but 
Uh, Vargas gives up his back, and now Odom needs to flatten Vargas out, which he just did. And Vargas, for a second, I thought was going to be able to shake Odom off. Odom does a good job repositioning. It looks like Vargas at this point uh, is just defending. It doesn't look like he's trying to do anything to get out from this position. He needs to explode. As I said that, I was wrong. Odom now transitions over to armbar, gets it in pretty deep. Vargas is trying to roll out of it to avoid it. And we can't really tell here from our position, but Vargas doing a good job breathing here as Odom is looking to torque that arm. We just heard a uh, light scream from Vargas there, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to get that. It pulls his arm out. out. Good submission defense and a huge ovation here from the crowd as Vargas again and Brandon Adams guard here. See if he can steal yet another round here from the more experienced Brandon Odom. Ten seconds left here in the second round of this lightweight contest. Vargas postures up, throws some more big shots here towards the end of the second round. Wow, I think another we're gonna have to. Round. <laughs> it, it was a great round. I think we're gonna have to call Hunter Vargas here at the comeback kid because this is the two rounds in a row now where the last 30 seconds or so he's been able to come back from what would be considered a uh, a dominant round by Brandon Odom. Yeah, that round though I don't think he did enough. I think he you know he only really had the last 10 or 15 seconds that round. I don't think that was enough to steal a round. I think that one's probably gonna go to Brandon Odom. So in my opinion right now I think it's one round apiece may even be two rounds for Brandon Odom, who has controlled the majority of this fight so far, although he has taken probably the most damage. Absolutely, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, second round, definitely Brandon Odom. First round, I'm going to uh, – it, it's, it's going to be iffy. It's going to be iffy, and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, some of the judges gave it to Odom and some of them gave it to Vargas. And you want to see at this point, you want to see one of these guys come out and try to finish this fight because it's going to be – Tough to see what, you know, tough to score from Absolutely. those first two rounds at least. Absolutely. And if you wanted to join us uh, in the conversation, please do so. Hop on Twitter. Tweet using the hashtag ITFightSeries34. We're monitoring Twitter as the fights go on. And uh, we'd love to have you in the conversation. And you can also follow at BluegrassMMA at IT Fight Series, at Cagecaster, at the Magic Don Juan, at MMA McKinney, all of us on Twitter. Ready for round three here, lightweights. Brandon Odom, Hunter Vargas. Good back and forth fight so far. Both guys still doing a good job keeping their hands up. Vargas shoots in for a takedown, Odom stuffs it. Oh, Vargas lands a nice knee to the midsection there. Odom now is going for the single leg takedown. Vargas with the underhooks to prevent it. Now he goes to the rib cage with some shots. And into the head. Odin oh. said, uh-uh, I'm going to get this takedown. Pulls out that leg, then pulls the arm that Vargas was using to post. And Vargas may be looking for an arm bar here. It looks like he's got the legs in the correct position looking to set it up. Belly down arm bar here, just really looking to extend that arm of Brandon Odom. But Odom is out now. Has Vargas stacked against the cage and has his back once again. For as many dominant positions as Brandon Odom has had in this fight, you would have think, you would have hoped that he would have been able to finish it at one point. But Vargas is one tough competitor, doesn't make it easy. And now Odom sinks in the leg hook on the left side. Now he needs to get the right one hooked in. Vargas looking to get back to his feet here. Vargas just needs to stand up right now. He has the ability to do so, and we'll get out of this position. And uh, as I said that, he did, but Odom pulled him right back down. Drags him right back down, now has in the left hook, looking to get in that other hook. Odom throws a couple of strikes here up against the cage. Vargas, nice transition there from Brandon Odom as Vargas postured up, and Odom transitioned to full mount here now up against the cage. Uh, Vargas tried to buck from underneath there to, to push Odom off, was unsuccessful in the attempt. Odom needs to use his forearm here to make some space and throw some ground and pound here to maybe finish this fight. Odom again tried to buck, 
or excuse me, Vargas tried to buck. Odom now has his back up against the cage. Odom's looking to get that left leg hook in. Vargas working from, I guess you would say the top, but the top position, so I, I don't know what position you'd say that for uh, yeah, Vargas Odom would be. still has his back here. He does have his back, but Vargas is working, throwing some shots. Vargas maybe looking to go out the back door here, trying to shake Brandon Odom off, and Odom flattens him out once again here up against the cage. It looks like uh, at this point Vargas is just doing everything enough in his power to uh, you know, wait out the round. And we have 10 seconds left here in this fight. Odom has got the rear naked choke. It's locked in. It's in deep. And Vargas is saved by the bell. Survives the round, but probably is going to lose this decision here as he was unable to do enough, in my opinion, to win this fight. Good back and forth fight, and it looks like Brandon Odom is going to go to 2-0 against Hunter Vargas when the judges' scorecards come in. Although we've been wrong already once tonight. Well, we weren't wrong, but we were... The judges disagreed with us. <laughs> you got that right. Tonight, the judges, uh, not tonight, this fight, they better not disagree with us. Brandon Odom should get this 29-28 at worst, but I can see it being 30-27 for Brandon Odom as well. Nikon is talking with the lead inspector here at IT Fight Series 34 as he's tallying up the judges' scorecards. Both fighters walking around, unsure of who's victorious. The look on Hunter Vargas' face appears to be that he is not happy with the, uh, his performance this evening. It's uh, very, very tough to win fights off of your back, and that's what Hunter Vargas was trying to do there. One thing I'll notate, notate uh, it has taken a long time for the judge the uh, lead inspector here to tally up the scorecards, which means it will probably be a split decision. Not always the case, but that's typically what it means. And we have Nick Khan walking up to the cage now for the official announcements. We're going to send it up to him to find out who scored what. Ladies 29, 28, Vargas. Judge John Howard scores the fight, 30, 27, Odo. And Judge Booker scores the fight, 29, 28. For your winner by split decision, Vargas. David McKenney. David. McKenney, we are wrong twice tonight. Owen, two. What are these judges watching? Seriously. Yeah, it's uh, two horrible, horrible decisions so far by the State of Ohio Judges Athletic Commission. I don't think either one of those fights were really even all that close. Wow. Thank you. 